This is our DC power supply. It provides a direct current power source, which is like a battery. That means the voltage is constant in time. When you plug something into the wall, you get a voltage that's changing in time. It's actually a sine wave. But this puts out a constant voltage like a battery does. So if we turn it on, we get a readout here, volts and current. Now the little red light next to the current tells us that we're current limited. There, there are two knobs here. We want to be controlling the voltage, not the current. So if we're current limited, this is there as a safety. So we turn it up a little bit until that red light goes off. Now we're not current limited anymore, and it's set to 5 volts. We can change that. We can increase or decrease this down and up. Let's go to 15. Now it's putting out 15 volts. We'd plug in to our connections here. And the red one, the positive one, it's indicated on there as positive. The red or positive side is the higher voltage side, and the reference is the black or the negative side. So the red one is 15 volts higher than the black or negative side. The positive side is 15 volts higher than the negative side. Let's take a look at this simple circuit. My DC power supply is powering my breadboard, and I just have one resistor here. And so my DC power supply tells me it's putting out 10 volts and 0 0.05 amps, 50 milliamps. So let's hook up my multimeter set to DC voltage. And it also tells me that I'm getting 10.03 volts across that resistor. Now, if I change my voltage, first I'll go down a little bit, 6.6, .6, and my multimeter agrees. And if I go up, 14.9, 15.9, .9, they're pretty, oh, there we go, 15.0, 15.0. So to at least the first decimal place, they agree. Now let's take a look at current. To measure current, we have to, first of all, change the input to the current input, change our function to current, DC current. A is for amps. That's a current measurement. And then we have to disconnect something in our circuit. So I'm going to unplug that wire there, and I'll reconnect it through the meter, because the meter has to be hooked up in series. So I'll put this on my resistor, and the current will go through my circuit, through the resistor, through my meter, back to the power supply. So my meter is now in series with my resistor. And you can see that the current here says 0.05 amps, and the current here is 0 0.048, 0 0.047. So they agree to the number of significant figures that are available. If I change this up or down a little bit, now we're at 70 milliamps. And if I turn it down, about 20 milliamps. So when you're using this meter to measure current, you have to be in series with whatever you're measuring current with. That means you have to disconnect something in your circuit and reconnect it through the meter. To measure voltage, you don't have to do that. You have to be in parallel. 
So that means you can just reach in and clamp onto the circuit. But don't forget to change the input and the function settings prior to doing that. And then you just reach in and clip on to measure the potential, the electric potential, the voltage.